Hi, I'm Nick Mendoli with Visual South. Today we're going to look at visual time and attendance. Visual time and attendance is a fully integrated time and attendance solution for Visual Enterprise. Not only does it allow you to collect clock in and clock out for employees, but it also allows you to collect timesheets for direct employees who normally wouldn't clock in and clock out for the day. It allows you to do supervisor approvals of those timesheets along the way, which are work orders and the in and outs, along with those direct employees. And it allows you to do approvals for vacation requests and things like that. These things are usually done manually in most companies, whether it's on a spreadsheet or outside of the system somehow. So we're going to take a look at that and highlight some of those things and also take a look at a few other features within Time and Attendance. Visual Time and Attendance, or VTA, has two different interfaces that can be used. One is a kiosk to be used by hourly employees out on the floor to do things like clocking in for the day, clocking out for the day, and recording time and labor to jobs and work orders. They can also clock in and out of meals, request time off. There's a message board to communicate with supervisors and managers. They can look at their time cards to review what their labor tickets completed were. They could look at their schedule and they could view documents. So starting at the kiosk, an employee would normally see the options they have depending on the kiosk they're looking at. These menu items on the left can be modified for each different kiosk to show or not show different options here. So as an example, when an employee walks in the door to clock in, that kiosk may only have the clock in and clock out functionality and maybe the meals depending on where the kiosk is located. A kiosk at the lunch or break room may have the meals and also time off requests. So that's an opportunity for employees out on the floor to go and request vacations or uh, possible personal time off if they have that available to them. So typically an employee would walk in the door and clock in. Mark is clocked in. He could use his scanner. I just typed it in because I don't have a scanner. And then it resets the screen for the next employee and Mark is clocked in. Mark can then clock on a job or a work order Again, he would scan this, I'm typing it in, and tell it what he's doing. He's gonna start a job. He could use paperless or scan it from a traveler. Paperless would show the jobs on the screen. That's what I'll use. And then he's just gonna select where his resource is that he's working on, and we'll say he's working at the cutoff saw. And this is all touch screen enabled. And you'll notice that we have some indicators and also priorities. There's one high priority, two, and then there's also a three. And this comes directly from Shop Floor Mobile. So visual time and attendance integrates with the scheduling functionality within Shop Floor Mobile. So any changes a supervisor or production manager makes in Shop Floor Mobile scheduling will be seen over here for the employee to use as his work list. So if Mark was to scan on a job, I know that one of these doesn't have any material because it has red in my material card, so I can't really do anything with that. The rest of these are all late already. So I should probably start with the higher priority job, which is priority one that I do have material for. So I can scan on that and simply start that job. And it lets me know, do I want to perform another action? Yes means that I'll be clocking on something. I'm gonna say no, I'm just clocking in on that job. And then it's gonna reset for the next person to be able to come to the kiosk and start uh, attendance. If Mark wanted to request some time off, he can hit his time off and request it himself, again, scanning in his badge, and then select which time he wants. He could first look and see what his hours available are. He has 80 hours of vacation time and he has eight hours of sick time remaining. So he may come in and say that he wants to take perhaps the week of the 25th off, or maybe he only wants to take two days off. So he's gonna ask for the 25th and 26th off and for a total of 16 hours. And it's adding those two days up for him and he's just gonna save that. He could put a message in there if he wanted to, to the supervisor to explain why he was given short notice for a vacation time. But that's gonna show up now on the supervisor approval. Salaried employees would use the Visual Time and Attendance desktop program to enter their timesheets. So here's where they can enter their daily timesheets to say how many hours they've worked and comments on what they've worked on. And these timesheets will be submitted for approval by supervisor or manager if that's the workflow that's been created for time and attendance. We also have the ability within Visual Time and Attendance to create complex compensation premium rules. 
So we can create different rules with different, whether it's factors, time and a half or double time, or an actual dollar amount being paid. And we could define whether it's work cycle or per day. And we can go three levels deep on that to define different rules to capture complex premium pay requirements. Another really good feature with visual time and attendance is the ability to create supervisor timesheet approval workflows. We can go three levels deep on that. The first level is the employee creating the timesheet and approving their own timesheet or looking at it, making sure they believe it's correct because they can review it. The second could be a supervisor who reviews the timesheet and thinks that it's okay and marks it for reviewed. And then the third could be a manager or payroll person who does the final approval of those timesheets. So I can look at the timesheets as a supervisor and see whether I want to see all previous timesheets that are open with a completed pay period, meaning maybe it was last week's pay period that I need to finalize. Or I can look at the current pay period and approve these on a daily basis as they're created. So I may want to look at Mark and see what he's been doing and approve his timesheets. I can see each one of these timesheets that he's created throughout the day. And you can see I've clocked in and out several times on the same day, just in a demo database. Normally you would see one time card per day, and then I can drill into that time card and see all of the individual things that he's worked on. I can see the labor tickets actually created and the time applied to those labor tickets. And then I can come in and say that I've reviewed them. And I can put a comment for whoever is the next person in line to give the final approval. I'm just giving it a review stage where I can see that it's been reviewed by me. After that, a manager would come in and do the final approval. I'm not the manager here, so it's grayed out for me. But if I had the rights to do that as a manager, I can approve or reject those timesheets. I could also take a look at the time off requests. Here's where Mark requested time off. He's requested quite a bit of time off. So I can look at all of the days that he's asking for and then decide on a daily basis whether I want to approve or reject his request. I can select multiple requests and mass approve or mass reject. Visual Time and Attendance also has the ability to export file formats to your payroll provider. Generally, you'll only have one of these set up, but there are a few that come standard with the system. ADP is a popular one. If you use someone other than ADP, you can use the format and copy it and just modify what might be different, but you specify easily what that format looks like of the file going to that payroll provider. So visual time and attendance collects all of the data from the time clocks, all of that approval of time sheets and time cards are sent to payroll. So it makes it easy for the payroll person to just be able to take that format and send it off to their payroll provider. So as you can see, visual time and attendance is fully functional. There are a lot of features and functionality within the software. Let us know if you'd like to see more.